a journey into the heart of the Azores, where the ocean roars and giants lurk beneath the surface. Join us as we chase the biggest fish of the world tour, navigating through rainstorms and rocky waters in search of the ultimate thrill. Here we are, amidst the fusion of elements, where the air crackles with excitement and the scent of coffee hangs in the air. Our fearless crew braces themselves for what lies ahead, knowing that in these waters, every moment is a chance for greatness. Amidst the banter and camaraderie, our adventurers share stories of past conquests and dreams of what lies ahead. With each passing moment, the excitement builds, fueled by the knowledge that in these waters, anything is possible. And there they go, off into the unknown, fueled by determination and a dash of madness. With the rain pelting down, they set their sights on the horizon, knowing that beneath the stormy surface lies the promise of adventure. The battle is on as man and beast collide in a test of strength and will. With each tug of the line, the tension mounts as our crew fights to claim their prize amidst the crashing waves and swirling currents. As the sun sets on another day of adventure, our crew reflects on the highs and lows of their journey. Though the biggest fish may have eluded them this time, their spirits remain undaunted, knowing that the thrill of the chase is what keeps them coming back for more. Picture this. The largest marlin to date, estimated at a staggering 1,200 plus pounds, takes the bait. Oh, the anticipation, the adrenaline. But alas, it's not meant to be. The line goes slack, the moment slips away. Oh my god, that was a nice one, echoes through the air. We reeled, we fought, but victory eluded us. And so, the blue marlin bite continues. But why isn't everybody happy, you ask? Well, let me tell you a little secret. We lost one even bigger than the behemoth we just hooked. Can you imagine? Zero for six on Luris today, and the silence on the boat speaks volumes. But let's rewind a bit. Earlier, we hooked one on a pitch. It was epic. It was monumental. But even after we released it back into the wild, the mood on board was somber. It felt like we were at a funeral, mourning the one that got away. Now, let's talk numbers. We're talking easy 1,200 pounders here, folks. Kevin even compared it to the giants we've encountered in Brazil. That's number four in our lifetime, and with a bit of luck, we could have added another notch to our belts. But hey, it's not all gloom and doom. We caught another fish, and that's what those hugs are supposed to do, right? So amidst the disappointment, there's still a glimmer of hope, a spark of excitement for what tomorrow may bring. As the crew gathers for dinner, reflecting on the day's events, there's a sense of camaraderie, of shared experiences that bind us together. Today may not have been our best day in terms of numbers, but it was certainly one for the books. Now, we're not talking your average big fish here. Oh no, we're talking granders, weighing in at a whopping 1,100 to 1,200 pounds. But wait, there's more. We're talking about giants. That's right, a fish so colossal, it defies belief. And guess what? We had a shot at it. But alas, fate had other plans. The hook didn't quite penetrate, and our hearts sank as the opportunity slipped away. Can you imagine the sheer magnitude of a creature 40 feet wide? It's the stuff of legends, my friends. But fear not, for our adventure was far from over. In fact, it was just beginning. We raised a whopping 13 blue marlins in a single day, a record-breaking feat that left us in awe of the ocean's bounty. It was one of those surreal, magical days that you only read about in fishing legends. Sure, luck may not have been on our side when it came to landing the giant, but that's the beauty of fishing, isn't it? The thrill of the chase, the anticipation of what lies beneath the surface. It's what keeps us coming back for more, time and time again. And here we are, in Ponto del Azores, ready to tackle the next leg of our journey. Alex, along with the B Company team, has been instrumental in getting the boat prepped and primed for the ultimate fishing experience. As we set out into the azure waters, the anticipation is palpable. The sun beats down, the sea is flat, and the excitement is building. Suddenly a cry rings out, Swordfish! There it is, glimmering in the sunlight, a majestic Atlantic surface swordfish. But alas, it's not the riot set up for us. We're not equipped for this particular dance with the ocean giants. No light bait, no proper gear, just pure adrenaline and a dash of hope. We give it our best shot, 
casting a pitch bait and crossing our fingers, but as fate would have it, the swordfish has other plans. It dances away, leaving us in awe of its grace and power. Yet, despite the missed opportunity, we remain undeterred. The conditions may not have been ideal, but hey, that's fishing for you. And speaking of fishing, the blue marlin bite continues to be nothing short of spectacular. With each cast, each tug of the line, we're reminded of the magic that lies beneath the surface. Suddenly, the reels start singing, and we're off to the races once again. Over and under, we dance with the mighty marlin, feeling the thrill of the chase coursing through our veins. And then, just when we think luck is on our side, we realize we've got a double on our hands. VTO takes the lead, holding on tight, while the rest of us jump into action. It's a team effort, a dance of coordination and skill. In the end, we may have cheated a little, but hey, a win's a win, right? We reel in the prize, celebrating another victory in the endless dance between man and sea. I can't ask for a better team, Anthony muses. You can't control the fishing, but you can control the team. And I love this team. And what a day it's been. Eight fish caught today alone, bringing the total to a whopping 15 in just three days. My legs are completely gone, Anthony laughs. But hey, it's all worth it for moments like these. Nine of those 15 fish were over 600 pounds, with two more hitting the 500 pound mark. It's the kind of success that's hard to even dream about. I can't even dream this big, Anthony admits. You can't see what we just saw unless you've spent thousands of days on the water. But perhaps the most incredible part of it all was the double they pulled off. A six and a nine, both over 500 pounds in just a half day of fishing. I've never had a double like that before, Anthony says, awe evident in his voice. And let's not forget about the one that got away, that 1200 pounder they had their sights set on yesterday. How different would we feel if we caught that? Anthony wonders, before shrugging it off with a laugh. Oh well, time for a drink. But despite the missed opportunities and the sore muscles, Anthony can't help but feel grateful for the experience. Best blue marlin fishing day I've had in my life, he declares, a sense of awe and wonder in his words. And as the day comes to a close, Anthony can't help but reflect on the magic of it all. That double, he says with a smile, that was pretty sick.